drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos Bienvenidos de nuevo a dupedianworld.com to the Spanish intermediate level Hablemos español On this lecture you will learn how to use the indirect interrogative phrases we just saw in a previous video that you use some words to create questions que cuando como for example o quien but you also have in Spanish interrogative phrases that act in an indirect way you're going to see why hmm? and let's see comencemos veamos de que se trata let's see what is it about and observe, observa muy bien estas frases look at these phrases ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Which is your name? It's a normal question, right? It's open, it's abierta. But now you have, me gustaría saber cuál es tu nombre. I would like to know which is your name, what's your name? The first one is a direct question, es una pregunta directa. Pero en la segunda, the second one, since you have the phrase I would like to know, me gustaría saber, is an indirect phrase. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Is the indirect, is the indirect phrase. The indirect interrogative phrases don't have any question marks. Estas eh, frases interrogativas indirectas no tienen signos de interrogación representan una información complementaria para, para el verbo. They ask for a complementary information about the, the noun. Y forman parte de una oración compuesta. They are part of a of two parts phrase. For example, me gustaría saber is the first phrase and then the indirect interrogative ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Introduced by the question word ¿Cuál? But with no question mark. Me gustaría saber ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Algunas de las principales frases interrogativas indirectas que verás están precedidas por estas frases. Some of the most um, common interrogative phrases that are indirect are going to be preceded by phrases like Me gustaría saber, I would like to know, what do you want to eat today? Me gustaría saber, ¿qué quieres comer hoy? She doesn't understand how to do this exercise. Ella no entiende cómo hacer este ejercicio. María y Luis no saben cuánto cuesta esta casa. Marie and Luis don't know how much this house is. So as you can see, the phrases that are given the complementary information about the expression, I would like to know, she doesn't understand, Marie and Luis don't know, no saben. Estas frases que son el complemento, these phrases that are like an extra part of the phrase, are the indirect interrogative indirect phrases mm -hmm. as you can see on the phrases the question word keep the, keeps the accent la palabra de interrogativa mantiene su acento como puedes ver me gustaría saber qué quieres comer ella no entiende cómo hacer este ejercicio cuánto cuesta esta casa María y Luis no saben cuánto cuesta So as you can see, you keep the accent. Mantienes el acento y no escribes signos de interrogación. No question marks. Look at these two and the next two phrases where you're going to see how do you form an uh, interrogative indirect phrase. You have, yo no sé cuándo vendrá. I don't know when he or she coming. Yo no sé cuándo vendrá. As you can see, After the question word, usually you have the verb, uh, the action, but you can also have uh, the noun, the subject. Yo no sé cuándo tu abuela vendrá. I don't know when your grandma is when your grandma is coming. Yo no sé cuándo tu abuela vendrá. In this case, you also have 
after, the question word, the noun, el sujeto. Y también es posible, también es correcta. It is also a correct phrase. Yo no sé cuándo vendrá. Yo no sé cuándo tu abuela vendrá. If we're talking about indirect phrases, um, you, you can, we will also talk about phrases in which you have questions asked by someone else. Eh, vas a encontrar frases en las cuales hablas de preguntas hechas por otra persona. You're going to talk about a question that is asked um, from someone else. For example, ¿Qué llevará Marta a clase? What is Marta taking to the class? This is a conversation between two boys. Then, Andrés meets Marta and he tells her. Y le dice, Andrés quiere saber qué llevarás a la clase. Andrés is the one who asks, in fact, the question, ¿qué llevará Marta? Someone else tells Marta that Andrés wants to know what is she going to take. And then Marta says an answer and the person says, to Andres that Marta dice que no sabe qué llevará. Marta says that she doesn't know what is she going to take. So as you can see, when you're talking about a question that is uh, asked for someone else, you will also use this kind of uh, interrogative indirect phrases. You also have indirects with the word sí. Tienes indirectas también con sí. When do you use the sí? When the SI, C. Let's see some examples. Veamos algunos ejemplos. Sofía viene mañana. Is Sofía coming tomorrow? Ana preguntó si Sofía viene mañana. So Ana asked this, and maybe Mary said, Ana asked if Sofía comes tomorrow. Ana preguntó si Sofía viene mañana. When you have a question in which is a closed question, question with an answer as yes or no, sí o no, utiliza sí. Tu hermana compró la cena. Did your sister buy the dinner? Again, it's a question with yes or no answer. Es una pregunta de sí o no, de respuesta sí o no. En este caso puedes usar indirectas con sí. Mamá quiere saber si mi hermana compró la cena. Mom wants to know if my sister bought the dinner. So, thank you very much.